Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. I am Rajnikan and today's video we'll gonna discuss API Gateway. Okay, so what is API Gateway and why we required it and how we can implement in our microservices. Okay, so in all details we'll gonna see. And this is the continuation of Spring Boot and microservices series. If you have not watched my earlier videos, you can watch those earlier videos before proceeding this video. Okay, and don't forget to subscribe my channel as well. Let's start. So if you'll see here, uh, let me show you in a screen. If you see here, I have a payment service, I have a ticket booking service. So if ticket booking service want to call payment service, so it need authorization, right? So payment service uh, need to implement authentication logic, authorization logic, and lot of security logics should uh, payment service need to implement okay the same applies to ticket booking service as well this ticket booking service in this ticket booking service microservice we need to implement authentication logic authorization logic and other securities logics okay uh, so in if you're in project number of microservices so let, let's suppose 10 microservices or 20 microservices in each microservice, you need to implement authentication, authorization logics. Okay, so all security related uh, logics we need to implement in each microservice. Apart from that one, if you want to limit the request, suppose one service, one service is there or microservice is there, you want to limit that per day, per day you want thousand requests should be allowed you are limiting the request so that kind of logic also we need to implement in each microservices level apart from that one if you'll see fault tolerance and service aggregation service aggregation means suppose i am calling into one microservices but it required 15 microservices call okay so in that case to aggregate all the responses and send that aggregate response to the client so that is known as service service aggregation so this kind of logics we need to implement in each microservices okay so this is very tedious because in each microservices we need to do the overwork the same thing we need to do the overwork okay so how to get rid of these things or how we can implement these things in a better way okay to implement that thing in a better way we need a api gateway so api gateway is the central entry point okay if you want to call payment service i need to go through this api gateway if i want to call ticket booking service i need to go through this api gateway okay so api gateway is the central entry point where we need to configure all these things authentication authorization fault tolerance and service aggregation all these things we can place in api gateway so api gateway is the central entry point of all the microservices okay hope you got it what is microservices sorry what is api gateway and why we required api gateway okay now let's see how we can implement a api gateway in spring boot for our microservices okay so spring boot provides netflix Zool api gateway which we can implement by implementing netflix Zool, we can create a API gateway but Zool is outdated it's uh, deprecated so in current version spring API gateway is there but for time being we'll go for Zool API gateway because uh, I am explaining with a older version of spring boot and still people are being used this uh, use these APIs so I am explaining that one anyway I will create a different series for the updated things as well okay now let's see how we can create a 
netflix zool api gateway so already i have created the application you know already um, you know that we can create by using two ways either you can go for spring initializer or from the id itself new and here spring starter project then you can go through uh, all those steps and you can choose the dependency this one spring cloud starter netflix zool so this dependency we required and to register this zool api gateway i added to this eureka client netflix eureka client so we'll register this zool api gateway to our service registry or eureka server in eureka server we'll register our zool api zool api gateway okay so if you are not aware that service registry thing uh, you can watch my earlier videos you'll get an idea okay so create a spring boot spring boot application with these two dependency okay now once you have created it will appear like this and here if you'll see this the pom.xml i have explained then let's see in the main application in zool api gateway what we need to do add that enable zool proxy to make it a zool api gateway we need to annotate this one and enable discovery client this is this is for registering our zool api gateway to service registry okay so we need to provide that service registry details or eureka server details so in that property file if you'll see server.port8765 this zool api gateway application will run on 8765 and this is that application name spring dot application dot name is equal to zool hyphen api gateway hyphen server and eureka dot client dot server hyphen url default zone this is the service registry or eureka server url okay hope you got this so in this way we can create a zool api gateway okay so in upcoming video i'll show you how we'll uh, add some meaningful things some uh, filtering things fil for filtering for all the uh, microservices and applying logging or those stuffs i will explain in next video okay so let's see uh, first run our uh, service registry then we'll run our zool api gateway so we'll see our zool api gateway application will be up and running in eureka server okay so run as spring boot application okay first service registry we need to run okay it's running let's go and run api gateway as well so this annotations you should remember in interview people might ask you this enable discovery client enable zool proxy okay so service registry this is api gateway service registry is up and first service registry to start this is zool api okay 8761 it's running now let's go to our chrome browser localhost 8761 8761 this is eureka server is running on this port if you'll see 
zool hyphen api gateway server it's running up and running okay so hope this video is helpful please do provide your comments in the comment section i will really appreciate it and thank you for watching guys have a nice day